Drive World has just updated, so let's check it out. To start off, they added the best car in the entire game, the PAL. And here we are with a fully max pal. Driving this thing around it like it runs perfectly. Like look at this. Let's go and change settings to make it a little bit better. Right, there we go. I think this is perfect. Alright, and here we are in a drag race. Let's see how good this is in the drag race. I messed that up, so let's try that again. Also, have you seen the score of this thing? It's... it's... insane. Almost 4,000 score. Uh, there we go. There's a better time. Um, I think if you do this enough, you could actually get the fastest time on Drag Race with this car. Because the fastest time I remember with the LRXK is like 9.9, 9.8, so I think this thing might have a chance with that. And it's been a new week, so we have some more weekly challenges, which actually brings a Drag Pal, which I'm definitely going to have to get this. And a new challenge, which is score 10,000 miles in speed trap. So get 10,000 miles per hour or whatever it is in kilometers. Uh, play 30 races, play for 100 minutes, and drive 200 miles. So I'll do these and I'll show you that at the end of the video. And here's another new car, the Camo, which is a Camaro in real life. And here it is. Let's see what it is like stock. So far it seems not the best. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be that good for races. And while I'm upgrading, I'll show you the customizations. They've added a new spoiler and put a new hood on it so far. They actually added bike racks back, and I actually like these. This is also pretty cool. They added a parachute. Right, and now let's see what the top speed of this is. Yeah, it just seems like another average car. And then for the last new car in the shop, they actually have the Camo RS, which this actually looks pretty good. Also, they changed the score of tires, so they're actually more score than they were before.
And here we are with the fully maxed one. From a quick look at them, they seem like basically the same car. This one just might be a little bit faster, but really it's not worth it over getting other cars. And there we go, I finished the three quests, now I'm just waiting on the minutes, and while I'm waiting on these, I'm going to show you the around the world times on the Camaros, and I'll show you the customization for the other pal. I think this could get like 150, but there's better options. I wouldn't really shoot other cars. This one actually seems worse for around the world. I think it's more for drag, but I would rather just use a different cart for drag. Also, if you go into settings and go down to the very bottom, they added a thing where you can hide the interface, so it doesn't show any of the buttons on the screen. And going up to the top to promo codes, you can actually put in a code, code Z, and this will give you a free $30,000 cash. Also, if you look in here, you can see my hands moving and controlling the car. Also, in a midweek update here, they added where you could hide name tags above cars. And finally, the last thing that they added into this is they actually added more controller support. I'll probably make a video about the PAL next week, so I'll see you then.